Hello friends, welcome to Miss Honey's classroom. Hello friends, guess what Urkel? What? Today we're going to be doing another scribble art. <laughs> I love scribble art, don't you? Oh yes, scribble art's the best. Guess what letter that we're going to be working with today? I can't wait to hear what letter. I'm going to give you a hint. It makes the eh, eh, eh sound. That's vowel E. Good job, Urkel. We are going to be making two pictures for vowel E, and I'm going to give you a hint what they are. One is a food, and one is an animal. I wonder what they could be. Do you have any ideas? Hmm, let me think about that. All right, let's get started, Urkel. All right, friends, are you ready to get started on our scribble art for vowel E? Now, remember, E makes the eh, eh, eh sound. So both of our pictures are going to start with that eh sound. Let's start by by writing a letter E. Letter E starts with a straight line down, capital E, straight line down, and then three lines across. One, two, three, and notice how that middle line is a little smaller than the top and the bottom line. And for lowercase e, we do a straight line, and then we do a little roller coaster around. Whoosh! For lowercase e. Are you ready for your first picture? Your first picture is a food. Are you ready to get out your doodle marker or your doodle pencil? Okay, this is going to look like kind of a cloud scribble. Please subscribe to learn with us and press the bell notification. And then inside you're going to do a circle. And then if you would like to, you can kind of scribble it in. Do you know what this is? This is a breakfast food. This is an egg. I don't know if you've ever eaten eggs this way, but when you crack it open in a hot pan and you cook it, when it's open like that, this is the yolk. And then this outside is called the white of the egg. Egg. -g. That's the G sound. And there's actually a double G in egg. Two Gs. Yummy, yummy. Our next scribble art is an animal. Starts with the eh sound. Can you think of any animals that start with the eh sound? Hmm. Let's start with a scribble body. Kind of a big scribble. This is a big animal. Scribble head is next, so this is going to be a smaller scribble. Now this next scribble is kind of going to give it away. Because at the edge of the head here, the very tip, we're going to make kind of a hook shape. Do you know what that is? That's the trunk. I think we just gave it away, huh? Now let's do four stick legs. One, two, three, four. And should we give it a tail? Let's do one kind of stick tail. And let's do sort of a couple of small sticks at the end of the tail to kind of fluff it out a bit. 
like that. Now let's give it a big ear because this, this animal has big ears. We can only see one of the ears because it's facing us towards the side. So let's give it kind of a big ear in a bell shape like that. This is an eh, eh, elephant. Now this is a very long word, but I bet that some of you smarties can spell it out. Elephant. Eh, that's the short E sound. L, 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 eh, eh. Again, that short E, L. Now this is the F sound, but guess what two letters when they come together also make the F sound? A P and an H. L, yeah, that P and that H also make the F sound. Elephant, ant, ant, elephant. I hear the word ant at the end of elephant. Do you hear it? Ant. I know that I can spell ant, A-N-T. Elephant. Ant. Elephant. You can use small words to help you spell bigger words. So we have an egg and an elephant for our scribble art for vowel E. Great job, friends. Those were some fun ones. Please join me on the next scribble art. Bye-bye.